Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to make a brief contribution to this motion. I support the motion which will authorize the Minister for Finance to guarantee an amount of 80 million EC dollars from the First National Bank, St. Lucia Limited, to the National Lotteries Authority to assist with the financing of a youth and sports infrastructure program. I support this motion, Mr. Speaker, because we are two and a half years and counting into the term of this government. And here again, Mr. Speaker, this government demonstrates to the people of St. Lucia, and in, in particular, the young people of St. Lucia, that this is the government which has the interests at heart, Mr. Speaker. When you look at the intentions of this motion, the Youth and Infrastructure Program, it is very clear, Mr. Speaker, that the, the Minister with Responsibility for Youth Development and Sports is on the right path, and it's very clear that he's working hard with his team to ensure that not only our youth and sports programs succeed, but we have infrastructure which will support our youth and sports programs. Earlier on, Mr. Speaker, the member for Labry spoke, spoke about the, the games at Sufre, the island champs. And it was another opportunity to showcase the possibilities for the development of youth and sports, albeit this time athletics. But Mr. Speaker, what you saw there on Sunday in Sufre is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of, of what is possible. Not necessarily the tip of the iceberg, Mr. Speaker, but also, Mr. Speaker, the entrance to the forest. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the member for Denmark is troubling me about my, my past sprinting days. I do not have many records at all. I know you try to. <laughs> but yes, Mr. Speaker, you, you can see the level of performance and also the enthusiasm of the athletes and the parents. And certainly, Mr. Speaker, this motion, which would eventually guarantee the borrowing of $80 million, will assist this development. The people of VFO North, I am sure, Mr. Speaker, look forward to the possible benefits of the program which will be developed by the, the National Lotteries Authority. Mr. Speaker, I am sure they look forward to the developments on the Bellevue playing field, the VJ playing field, developments on the Pierrot playing field, um, Laclary, Mon sorry, not Laclary, but Opico, Mon Cayenne, and so on, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on Sunday, we were also very proud to see what, what happened with some of our athletes from VA for North, Mr. Speaker, and improved facilities will definitely benefit the athletes of VA for North, include, including footballers and netballers and, and those who, who use facilities in our communities. Mr. Speaker, it was a joy to witness the performance of Naomi London, Mr. Speaker, from Bellevue in VA for North. And Mr. Speaker, I am absolutely I'm certain, Mr. Speaker, if our playing field was already developed, she could have used it for some training. And I'm very pleased, Mr. Speaker, that the Prime Minister has approved funds and we have seen the commencement of the rehabilitation of the Bellevue playing field. So in the future, um, others who are, who are like Naomi and, and, and so on will at least have some grounds, some better facilities to do some training. Mr. Speaker, you had Laverne, Laverne Jabatis from Grace, Mr. Speaker, Rayshawn Harris, Renard Bernard, Ryan Cody Simeon, Ricardo Mann, Kishmel Maslin, Prudential Shalry, Darren Ogis, Ellen Polius, Serafina William, among others, Mr. Speaker. All of them from VFO North, and there are others who got gold medals, many of them gold medals, Mr. Speaker. They well can't beat us on the track. And therefore, when our facilities are improved, Mr. Speaker, I see Mikunov trying something there. Mr. Speaker, the VFO North, the young people from VFO North are very talented. And so when our facilities are improved, I am sure we will see more Naomi Londons and, and more Sheldon Emanuels 
the former captain of the St. Lucia senior football team coming out of Greece, and there are many others, cricketers, and many others from our community who will benefit from this. I think it is very important while we speak about youth development and infrastructure improvement to recognize, as one of my colleagues did earlier, the contribution of the First National Bank to the island champs. And I'm hoping that other corporate um, citizens and other, corp uh, other companies will come together to continue to assist our, our sports people. Many of them have done in the past, but we begin to see our athletes moving and performing at a different level. I wish to congratulate on behalf of the people of VA4 North, Julian Alfred, in a very special way, Mr. Speaker, for, her, for what she has done for St. Lucia. What, we, what she has done for St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. And when we speak of economic growth and economic development, Mr. Speaker, I'm sure most of us know what, what athletes and, and people in, in, the, in the, the, and the creatives and so on, what they do for, for the country when they go out there in the world and they perform. I am absolutely, I am almost sure, Mr. Speaker, that cars stopped, the bars were filled. Everybody stopped, Mr. Speaker, on that day just to witness Julian, Julian Alfred's history, the history-making moment. So that's the kind of thing, just imagine you multiply uh, Julian Alfred by three, by four, all around the country. You saw what Usain Bolt and, and the, the reggae boys, the football team, you saw what they did for the country. And it, it, it is something you can't really put a value on. You can't say it is a, it's worth a million dollars or 20 million dollars. It's invaluable. Because what these things do, they move a, the conscience of a nation. And you never know at what moment uh, a young lady or a young man who was going astray, and just that moment when Julian Alfred performed on the world stage like this, it gave them an awakening, and it caused them to realize, wow, this lady is from St. Lucia. She's from, from Ciceron. Um, I hope one day I'll say from Belleville, you know, from, or from Grace or from somewhere. But yeah, from Ciceron, an ordinary young lady. And look at what she's doing to the soul and the conscience of our country. So I believe, Mr. Speaker, that and the, the investments in youth and, and in infrastructure can only do good, can only do good for us. Mr. Speaker, the contributions of, of others at the Sufra event, I will not go into all of it because I'm sure at some point the Minister for Youth and Sports will detail it and also the Minister for Education. But I want at this, at this point, Mr. Speaker, as we debate this motion, to recognize the, all of the workers in education and youth and sports who are led by Minister Kenson Kazimi and Minister Sean Edward. Their work in youth and sports and what happened on Sunday is a collaboration and amalgamation of effort. These things don't just happen. It's an amalgamation of effort at the ministerial and at the, the agency level, the, the, you know, the, the education officers and the sports officers and the teachers. And I want to congratulate all the teachers who are there on Sunday, Mr. Speaker. All the teachers. All of them, Mr. Speaker. In a very big way, I want to say that. Because it was a Sunday and you know, Mr. Speaker, they were there to encourage the, the students and I can guarantee you that not even this government will be able to stop what will happen to these island chumps in the future. Nobody will stop it. You see these island chumps, Mr. Speaker? People are already ordering fabric to make their clothes to support their school. You see next, the next one? I don't know, Mr. Speaker, what are we going to do? Because we, we know you what comprehensive my alma mater is. I mean, we're the boss, you know what I mean? But still, Mr. Speaker, I'm hearing other schools coming on a point of... <laughs> we today, yes. <laughs> You know what, Mr. Speaker? <laughs> I know that other schools and the parents and the teachers are gearing up next year. So this is wonderful. And the development of infrastructure, Mr. Speaker, can only help all of this. Mr. Speaker, I, I just want to tell you also that I'm always very interested in what youth and sports and the development of infrastructure can do for social capital in the country. And when we speak about crime, and what is happening in St. Lucia and in the Caribbean, we cannot divorce all of these programs from what is happening. Just imagine, Mr. Speaker, every other weekend or weekday, you have activities 
for you to have successful semi-professional, a successful semi-professional league, you need organized teams. And for teams to be organized, they must go to meetings. And for them to go to meetings, they must come together and spend less time idling. So I mean, you can look at all of the connections to, to the society and what we can do if we continue to improve the youth and infrastructure program, programs which this motion speaks to. The bonding social capital, the bridging social capital, linking social capital. So this is not just about building proper playing fields. This is about the community. This is about how we build St. Lucia and how we, we turn the tide and we can do it. And this, for example, this semi-professional league, Mr. Speaker, I mean, we are not in the top. Yeah, I mean, this is something else. Viewport North, Viewport North is not yet up in the top, but, but Mr. Speaker, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that in the next year or so, we come in, Mr. Speaker. Sheldon, Emmanuel, and so on will have to come back. And, and you know, we have, you know, we come in for them, Mr. Speaker. But I want to congratulate all those who are leading these things, all of these activities, Mr. Speaker, and to tell them that this is the government for you, Mr. Speaker. That's what it means to the young people, to St. Lucians. This is the government for you. Semi-professional league, infrastructure improvement. This is the government which will take you into your future. This is the government for you. Not some people who are misleading you about everything, about taxes, about youth, about all kinds of things, Mr. Speaker. This is the government for you, programs. So, Mr. Speaker, Mwebledi, Jordi Anouvini, fair guarantee. Gouvernement n'a pas qu'à prêter pièce l'argent, mais nous n'avons pas qu'à garantir qu'il y a 20 millions de dollars pour National Lotteries, là, prêter l'argent pour développer Grounds Bowl, Only one set ici, nous n'y World Cup là qu'à venir, et nous n'y pouvons manger à uh, Mindo Philip Park, nous n'y pouvons manger Darren Sami, Cricket Ground. Mais là, il y a l'autre programme qui a été fait, avec Mouezadi Parlement qui nous a commencé à manger Grounds Bowl Bellevue, à Vieux Fort Neuf, et nous regardons ces les autres là, à Vigé, à, à Pierrot, à Opicon, avec Mon Cayenne, avec toutes ces Grounds Bowl ça là, Monsieur Speaker, il est important. Parce que nous n'y avons pas madame Yoki et Naomi London qui sont de belle vie. Avec madame Salah qui a mangé tête, avec les gens qui ont pied les tracks là. Avec ça, nous avons un programme comme ça. Ça fait un Charlotte Naomi London. Avec nous avons félicité Julian Alfred pour ça qu'il a fait par cette liste. Parce que ça qu'il a fait par cette liste, tout le monde a cette liste qui a senti un chéo. Imaginez si nous n'y avons pas Julian Alfred. Comme Naomi London, comme Sheldon Emmanuel, avec l'ami Lotte, Chien, 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 Lotte. Comme ça, nous, je vais supporter ça, et je vais garder pour le développement de la constituante vieux fort neuf même. Parce qu'avant moi, je vais dire, Monsieur le Speaker, là, Monsieur Chonet, non, le Parlement de Henry Neuf, le ministre sport, presque tout le Grand Ball, il y a un pays qui est ici, Lord Moura, Widita, Kabay, tout le monde, c'est un pays vert, avec blé. Monsieur Speaker, mais là, le gouvernement vini, yo ça. Après, est venu, il a croisé ça. Après, il y a un grand bol en vieux fort neuf, grand bol de il y a fait, avec nous, il a fait effort à nous-mêmes en vieux fort neuf pour faire l'autre monde nettoyer ces les autres-là. Le programme, ça, là, je vais regarder qu'il y a plus de support, comme ça, tous ces grands bols-là, qu'il y a une assistance. Je vous remercie, Monsieur Speaker, et je soutiens la motion.